Hello, everybody. Hey, everyone here in Spiritual Biz Success. So if there is ever a time to step out as a spiritual leader, the time is now. This, this you know, contrast that we're going through, everything going with this coronavirus and the panic that people are experiencing, they need us now. They need spiritual leaders. They need people who are holding their vibration at the highest level, who are able to um, integrate the 3D and the 5D and really keep things settled here in the 3D. We need this. These people out there are in this complete panic and they're looking for leadership. They're looking for someone to show them that it's okay to be calm. They're looking for someone to show them how to meditate. They're looking for someone to show them how to release their anxiety and fear. And that's what you guys all do. You guys do amazing things in here. If you're in spiritual business success, you're here because you're working through your gifts and how to step out as a spiritual leader. And that means you have gifts that this world needs. They need you right now. It is mayhem out there. And the panic that they're putting out on the, on the TV and stuff isn't helping anybody, right? There's this panic that's coming in. If you pop on the TV or you talk to a friend or you talk to a neighbor, or you talk to your family, they're immediately, that's all anyone's talking about, they're immediately dropping into a low vibration and into panic. What needs to happen on this planet right now is that we need spiritual leaders to step up. We need to step up and be an example of being able to hold our vibration in the highest level and not succumb to the panic. Now, there is a difference between just ignoring it and being like, oh, let's just be in peace and joy and having an awareness and being able to hold your vibration. So what a spiritual leader needs to do and each of you needs to do now is you need to be able to integrate the 3D with the 5D. So you need to come from the standpoint of in the 5D saying, yes, I do create my reality. Yes, I'm going to be safe. Yes, I'm going to be healthy and protected and abundance flows to me and all the things that you need to concentrate on from a 5D perspective. But you also need to have the 3D awareness of what's happening in the 3D, right? You wouldn't, just because we know how to create our reality doesn't mean you would walk out in front of a bus and expect to, expect to live, right? So the same thing in this situation, you have to have an awareness and be smart about what you're doing. So probably not a smart idea to be going to a big concert, like have some awareness of what's going on here in the 3D, but being able to hold your vibration in the 5D to know that we are safe, to know that we are protected, to know that we are children of God, source, infinite intelligence, whatever the word is that you're using, the universe, that we know when we're in that vibration, we are protected. And also knowing that this is happening for a reason. This is happening to wake us up. This is like the call to action for light workers. This whole thing going down is literally to wake us up and get us to step out. People need you. They need role models. So if you're finding yourself dipping into fear for whatever reason about what's going on, you need to kind of check your vibration because you need to see why are you in fear? Because right now we need you as a spiritual leader to really be holding, holding your vibration and, and being a light for others to follow. We can't have you dropping in your vibration. And if you're experiencing fear around this, you need to kind of do some work and figure out why is the fear popping up? Are you in fear because of scarcity? Does that mean that you haven't planned well enough financially or you haven't planned for enough food or you haven't planned for whatever it is? Are you feeling fear because of scarcity or are you feeling fear because you might get sick? Like what's, where's the fear coming from? You need to uncover where that fear is coming from so you can put it aside and, and, and really being able to see that you have to hold your vibration as a spiritual leader and get out there and help people. And this, at this point, there's never been a greater time where this is nothing to do with you. This is like, if you're afraid of stepping out as a spiritual leader, what are people going to say or what are people going to think? Who cares? This is not about you at all. This is about serving the planet. And like I said, the whole reason why this is happening is because this part of the awakening. It's pushing us and it's the call to action for spiritual leaders and light workers to step out to serve. This is about serving. How are you going to serve your fellow human beings around you who are in a panic? How are you going to serve the fellow human beings around you that are in scarcity? How are you going to serve the fellow human beings around you that are in so much fear and anxiety that they can't get through their day? How are you going to do that? Because that's what your role is now. That's part of what this is happening for because we need to step out. This again has nothing to do with you. This is about serving. How are you going to serve? What is the next level of service you can do? How far along are you in your spiritual business? Have you created? Do you have your tribe? Can you connect with people? This is the greatest time for people to connect with each other so that you're holding each other in the highest vibration. They need the support. 
I just got out of my spiritual biz boot camp call. We were talking about this and they were saying how amazing to come into a group of collective consciousness of everyone holding themselves at the highest vibration and releasing the fear and paranoia that's happening out there. Is the paranoia real? Maybe it might be real, but with, being in paranoia and being in panic does not help anybody. You can't be in enough panic to help someone else in panic. We need to be holding ourselves in the highest vibration. We need to know in, in every cell of our body that we are fully connected to source. And in that full connection to source, know that we are here to serve and we are here to help. This is the call to action. This coronavirus is the call to action for spiritual leaders to finally step up and step out and help and serve on this planet. So I want to know how are you going to serve? How are you going to help the people around you? And it's not by taking phone calls from your family and your friends that they drop you into a low vibration. How are you going to be an example for the people who are in fear and scarcity? How are you going to do that? Because when you can figure that out and do that, that's when you're going to be a spiritual leader. And that's what we need right now. There is ever a time to step out. It is now. We need you. This is now the collective consciousness needs to come together to help shift the vibration and keep everyone in their highest vibration. Keep them in peace and get them out of fear and panic. The time is now. There is, I don't know what we're waiting for. So because the time is now, I'm creating something special for you guys. You'll hear about it in the next few days. It's an amazing opportunity so that you can get your spiritual business up and running and be able to work from home, so a lot of people are stuck from home, be able to be in control of your own income, because I know a lot of people are getting laid off or they're not getting paid because they don't know what's happening, and to be able to create the job and life that you've dreamed of and to be able to serve, which is why you are here. So keep an eye out for that in the next few days. Know that this is your wake-up call. This is the call to action. This coronavirus is meant to be here to be able to help us wake up and get out there and serve at the highest level. I'll see you guys in the next video.